Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's me, DJ King. It is early in the morning, but I was so excited that I finally got something ahead of time. And I'm excited about what it is. So I had to film this before I go to work. <laughs> so this particular item is a Dooney and Burke. And it's been a long time since you've seen the Dooney and Burke unboxing on my channel because they haven't had much that has caught my eye. So I have not purchased anything. They've had the same 30% sales and stuff going on, but nothing new was there that tickled my fancy. So this particular item has been on what popped up maybe a week, week and a half ago. It's been on pre-order and it says it would not be available to ship until December 6th. Well, today is what, November, what is today? It's Thursday, November 17th, I believe. Monday, I was able to, you know, scroll the site when the Black Friday sale code popped up on both Dooney and ILoveDooney.com. And maybe about eight o'clock, I couldn't get the code to work, so I let it go, came back to it about nine o'clock, <laughs> and all of a sudden, code still wasn't working. So I said, okay, let me just randomly check, I guess add it to my list of things to do today. About 9.30, the code was working. The item I had my eye on actually said, now available. Put it in my cart. It actually, let me put it in my cart. Didn't say pre-order. Put the code in. Also took the code off. So I was like, okay, well, we're three weeks ahead of December 6th. I can buy it now. What better early Christmas present to myself than to get it now? <laughs> so if you've purchased from Dooney and Burke, you know that sometimes the shipping takes from a week to maybe two weeks sometimes, especially when they're having a sale. And I ordered, like I say, Monday, just say 9.45. At Tuesday morning at 1.24 in the morning, I checked my email when I got up and at 1.24 in the morning, I had an email that said, your item has been shipped. So I was like, okay, okay. <laughs> not on pre-order, shipped already within 24 hours. So it said that it would not be here until Friday. Well, yesterday, Wednesday, I was on the phone with Mono's Beauty and I saw the UPS guy come around and I saw he had stopped at my house but couldn't tell if he was going to my neighbor's or mine. So then I, um, you know, didn't pay that much attention. So a couple of minutes later, I looked out the door and I saw a box sitting on the step. So wasn't thinking it was mine, thinking something to hubby or my daughter ordered. I go outside, I see red tape. <laughs> it came two days early. The box is in excellent condition. All my tape is on there. <laughs> um, let's see. Everything, this is the bottom. I mean, perfect condition so far. So I'm all excited because for one, it came earlier than expected. And this item, I have several of these in different colors, and I only have one in this particular leather. And this here is my favorite color. So when it popped up, it was like Another wish list item in 2021. So 2021 has been good. I have been getting a couple of my wish list items, not just buying stuff because it's on sale or because of whatever other reasons. Actually, stuff I have been looking for and waiting for to come back in stock. There is one more color that I will get in this leather, in this silhouette, and then I will be done with this um, style collection. But, you know I have no scissors, so give me a minute. <laughs> and the tape was actually only good because I literally had to peel it off. It wasn't just like almost dry around it and just lift it up. <laughs> okay. This will be my first time and your first time seeing it also. And I'm just hoping she is a 
beautiful, beautiful piece of leather. <laughs> so here's my receipt that was in there. Look at that. So first off, this is the right size box because you know we had to check all areas with them. So this is the box. <laughs> And I literally only ordered this item. Oh my gosh, it's perfect. I have number six out of 100. This is the Dunienberg Florentine Extra Large Courtney in the color red. This is absolutely amazing. <laughs> large Florentine Courtney in the color natural. I carried that thing, loved it. It gets a slouch to it. The natural Florentine had patina, fell in love with that bag. It's an excellent carry. It's a tote hobo, I guess some people want to say, but I'm trying to think the technical name they call it, they call it a Courtney sack, but it could totally fit the bill for a, a tote. And then when it starts to slouch, you could, you know, kind of get a hobo vibe. <laughs> but yes, this is the extra large Florentine Courtney. Oh my goodness. It's absolutely perfect. So as you can see, you do get feet on the bottom. There's no outside pockets. So for some of you, if you want a pocket on the outside, Courtney may not be it for you. I don't really care. It's not a deal breaker if some of my bags have pockets and some don't. Um, the inside, you do get your Florentine lining across the top there. This bag does not zip, which is another thing. It has this magnetic closure. So when it closes, it'll be like that. And you get your standard two slip pockets back here, one here, one there. You get your key keeper as usual. And the neat thing about this, it has a pocket up here. So like here is the slip pocket on the opposite side. You also get a zipper pocket right there. And it's in the green suede lining. <laughs> so you may not even notice it was even there. And here's the registration card. The pocket is like your standard size pockets in the back there. And then the slip pockets in the front. So you still get your zip and slip and two slip pockets. The hardware and the strap on this bag, I absolutely love. Because it is that chunky, chunky hardware. the strap the good thing about it you can take it off but look at this hardware on here Let me, okay so this is the hardware on here it is very substantial and that turn so you can do it that way so you can take the whole strap off if you want to put this strap on something else or if you want to do I mean, I wouldn't, but if I wanted to put my <clears throat> natural strap from my other Courtney on here, I could just add, I guess, a little flair to it. Or if you want to put a web strap, you can replace this. And I know um, Dooney Addict 615 did the video 
about changing your court need to make it into a Tilton if you couldn't get your hands on a Tilton. Well, now I have the Florentine Red Tilton that also popped up one of my wish list items from Dewey and Burke. I was able to get that earlier in the year. And then this extra large Courtney popped up in the color. So there is one more color that I want in the Florentine and my Courtney collection will be complete. <laughs> but yes, this is how it looks. It is just a gorgeous bag. It's just a big piece of Florentine and I love it. <laughs> so this is what she looks like. I just had to open this up before I go to work because it was gonna bother me all day long that I didn't get to check out my bag. And you know, when it's a wish list item, you're, you're overly excited. So it'll be like this and then when it starts to slouch, it'll kind of look like that, but it just all, it takes time, and of course it will patina because it's Florentine. But at this moment, I am so happy that I ordered mine early and I got it. I have no complaints about this purchase. I am loving it. And currently they are doing that promotion, whereas um, I think it actually moved over to ILD now. So it's on Dooney.com and ILD. So be sure to check that out, but yes, this here, this will probably be the bag I move into next week because the one I'm carrying now, I'm going to finish out the week and you'll see that one on Saturday. But this baby here, yes. Because I may just start carrying my red bags for the month of December that I haven't been able to use so far or just to carry them. But yes, this baby here will be used next week. <laughs> <laughs> so just wanted to come to my unboxing with you so I could check it over and share my wish list item with you. So again, do me Burke, extra large Florentine, Courtney Sack, and a color red. And I thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in my next one.